Hello, in this video I will explain the folder structure that we used during Project Pegasus. In the previous video I discussed setting up a package file to create variables that can map to paths within a project folder structure. This project folder structure is a shared space where the team can collaborate and share project files. I want to discuss the project folder structure we used during Project Pegasus. This is to give a bit more context to how we used that package file that I mentioned previously, but also because having a well-organized project can significantly improve productivity and efficiency, whether you're working alone or as part of a team. So I'm going to give a tour of this project folder structure and give a short explanation. To begin with, I have a folder called Houdini. This contains our packages of Houdini digital assets, as well as a folder for example files. In the packages folder, we're able to have multiple folders that contain libraries of digital assets. I have the Pegasus demo project folder. In the OTLS folder, I have the library of Pegasus digital assets. And then I have a copy of the Pegasus demo package file. This is the JSON file that the user copies to their Houdini preference folder located in my documents. The user can then amend this path to point towards the root of this project Pegasus folder structure. By doing so, the user can use the Pegasus demo and Pegasus demo project variables, as well as having Houdini load the, the Pegasus demo library of digital assets. In the examples folder, we have a number of Houdini files that demonstrate how the digital assets are used. This is a useful way for users to see practical examples of how the digital assets are used. The resources folder contains files that are not directly used in the Unreal project, but are useful to the team or files that might be referenced by digital assets. For example, this could contain the a Quixel Megascans library or reference images or videos. The source content folder mirrors the content folder in the Unreal project. So here I have a folder full of Unreal assets in the Unreal project. And then in the source content folder, I have the source FBX files that were imported into Unreal. This way, anyone on the team can find the source files of the Unreal assets that are used in the Unreal project. And then finally, the Unreal folder contains the Unreal project. I'm not going to go into too much detail on the folder structure that we used within the Unreal project, as this will vary project to project. In the Contest folder, I have a Pegasus folder, which contains all of the files that we created during the development of Project Pegasus. So this includes folders for blueprints, Houdini digital assets, landscape files, our levels, as well as materials, meshes, and textures. So that's uh, an overview of the project folder structure. As you can see, we are storing together within this directory our Houdini digital assets, the source project files such as 3D models and textures, as well as the Unreal project. This keeps everything in a single location, allowing everyone on the team to find all the files they need to. In the next video, I'm going to talk about how we used version control on Project Pegasus.